What's up guys, it's Gio and welcome back to another Geotalks meta where we talk about stuff that's happening in the Pokemon competitive universe as you guys can see on your screen. We are looking at Mega Mawa right now which is the next Smogon suspect test as you guys can see from the header crazy super highlight spam. Anyways, so Mega Mawa is on the chopping block for uh, suspect testing with the OU right now. As always you need a call rating of 2700. 2700 or more on the OE suspect ladder, uh, lasting two weeks, and that is really all that the OP says. Uh, there's a lot of people who are talking about whether or not it needs to be banned or not, and frankly, I have, at, at the beginning of the suspect test, I was like, you know, this thing doesn't really need to be banned. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about this one. If I'm on the fence, I'm probably going to vote no ban, but... As I continued to read and look into some of the things that Mega Mawile was capable of, um, I decided to encourage people to ban Mega Mawile. So my opinion is ban. Uh, for pro ban arguments, there really aren't any counters um, because it can it, it has a wide enough move pool and versatility that it can beat pretty much all of its counters. Because it, if you want to say, okay, Skarm is a Skarmory is a counter. Sword Stance Fire Fang beats Skarmory. Even Sub Punch beats Skarmory, frankly. Heatran, Sub Punch beats Heatran. Ghost types, Sucker Punch and Knock Off. And um, I also said Mawile forces switches enough that it can exploit um, the the incoming matchup by setting up a sub, and I also posted a calc here about standard Skarmory versus uh, sub-punching Mega Mall while uh, Skarmory can't switch in twice. It's not a very good check whatsoever, and that's like one big reason to think about why we should ban Mega Mall while. Also, someone in the thread was like, hey, uh, well, maybe... Like, well, well, if you're a good player, you should just be able to scout it out and uh, go from there. The problem with that argument is that due to Mega Mawile's wide range of versatility, if you if you say, oh, okay, we're, we're going to assume this scenario right here. You have, like, four Pokemon left. Your opponent has, like, three other Pokemon, and one of their Pokemon is Mega Mawile, and you have Heatran and Skarmory. Those are two potential checks to Mega Mawile. You say, okay, I, I'm going to see if I can lure the Fire Fang by having Skarmory out versus Mega Mawile. And then I'm going to switch to Heatran to try to get the Flash Fire boost so that I can ensure the KO with Lava Plume next turn. That sounds pretty logical, right? So you you do your best to try to scout that. However, you you pull the double into Heatran and your opponent sets up a substitute. Now something dies. Like, something actually dies. Heatran goes down to Sub Punch. Um, as I already said, Skarmory can't switch in twice to Sub Punch, meaning that it goes down. And so that that just proves that like there really aren't any counters to Mega Mawile. You can't really beat it. Like of course there's checks to it, but we're not talking about checks. And I'll talk about that in answers to no ban arguments. Um, anyway, number two, it has it, it has pretty much god god status typing. Uh, S Steel Fairy is one of the best typings in the game because it's immune to Dragon, meaning that it gets a free sub or Swords Dance by like coming in on a scarf chomp when it's locked in like dragon claw or something or coming in on like a dragonite's outrage or something like that meaning that you get like you get to put the hurt on your opponent after that and uh mega Mawile well also has plenty of resistances meaning that it has a ton of opportunities to get up a sub which leads me into my next point which is if you see a mega Mawile on your opponent's team it pretty much forces you to play a perfect game and a, like this was an argument that I didn't feel was voiced enough in this thread, and it's that Mega Mawile forces the opposition into playing a perfect game which is humorous, humorously unbalanced. If you get, and basically I went on to say, if you give, if you give Mega Mawile any breathing room, if you let up pressure or whether it be offensive, defensive, or momentum based pressure, on Mega Mawile at all, it can run train through your entire team, through sub punching, through like sword stance, sucker punch. Uh, play rough fire fang it can do all that great shenanigans and really just can can really beat up on like 90 percent of the meta and uh, the fourth argument that i make is uh prefer power based arguments over bulk because like while mega mawile doesn't have the greatest special defensive bulk or hp like we're, we're not talking about something that's meant to come in and wall everything here we're talking about something that is a potent offensive threat has priority in the form of sucker punch 
beats up on things with dual stab and also has focus punch to pretty much obliterate everything. So like, it, it doesn't really matter how much bulk it has if it acts as like a late game cleaner and just comes in and destroys everything. And also, I'm going to jump to another post here in just a minute, but I got these calcs here from the Dutch uh, Plumber Jack. Um, it, it actually has more power than Mega Kangaskhan if you just take it on a raw scale, because plus two uh, Adamant Max Attack, Mega Mall Wild Play Rough, does 119 per, or 111% max to Mega, or to Defensive Slow Bro. And then Mega Kangaskhan, same specs here. Does 107 max after Stealth Rocks and all that great shenanigans. So, like, if, if, we, th if we thought that Mega Kangaskhan was broken because of its great and super immense power that was nearly uncounterable, or was uncounterable, then we need to immediately ban Mega Mawile because it's actually stronger. And also, um... My sixth point for banning was, like, it's nearly impossible to re revenge kill. It has Sucker Punch. Um, if you want to say, alright, we're just going to play around its Sucker Punch by, like, going for Extreme Speed, resists Extreme Speed, um, takes neutral damage from Mach Punch. Uh, if you try to Sucker Punch it, you risk letting it sub up, which is really, really bad. So, like, the priority kind of kicks you in the butt there. And then the seventh argument I made is versatility. It has... It's probably its most viable moves are Swords Dance, Fire Fangs, uh, Substitute, Focus Punch, uh, Play Rough, Iron Head, Knock Off, and Stone Edge slash Rock Slide, and those can eliminate pretty much any counter you want to throw at it. And then people were making ban arguments saying that, like, it has checks. Well, like, it doesn't really matter if it has checks. Like, Mega Heracross, Mega Medicham, and Mega Gardevoir all have checks, but the counters to those are few and far between. And, like, we, we really need to talk and force conversation about checks if we want to keep Mega Mawile in the OU tier. And then other people said, but wait, like, you can just Will-O-Wisp it, it's not that hard. Well, like, every physical attacker barring Mega Zard X is hurt by Will-O-Wisp, and also Mawile can just sub to get around it. Sub Punch is one of the most popular sets. And, uh, number three for answers to no band arguments was, uh, it has low HP, low special defense, and low speed. Well, it, it makes up for its lack of bulk with just insane nutty power. Also, it has priority, so speed doesn't really matter as much. And, um, the fourth argument that people were making is that, oh, we have a ground and fire omnipresence right now with stuff like Landorus and Charizard. But, um, like, that was, that was no reason to not ban Aegislash. Like, just because it has weaknesses doesn't mean it's... It shouldn't be banned. But anyway, I'm going to jump to this guy's post, the Dutch Plumber Jack. And uh, he was focusing on a different set, but it's still kind of the same thing. And um, th so I'm going to jump to here, which is um, I would also like to point out some parallels with a blatantly broken threat that has been banned a long time ago. Reasons for banning Mega Kangaskhan taken from the Mega Kangaskhan ban announcement. One, the raw power of its attacks is too much, with virtually a base attack of 213 factoring in parental bond. Keep in mind that Mega Mawa reaches 210. Um, the only Pokemon that can afford to switch out on this monster with relative ease are Configurus, Sableye, and a healthy Gorgeist, blah 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 blah, gimmick strategies to stop it. Also, Mega Kings, Kangaskhan is nearly impossible to revenge kill, basically same thing, if it gets a sub or a sword stance up, uh, Sucker Punch pretty much annihilates anything, and also, it does limit team building because you have to p pack like a multiple checks on every team if you really want to consistently beat Mega Mawile, because like, it's so versatile, you have to have different checks to beat different sets. For example, you... And like, like, even if you run Heatran and Skarmory, which are, like, top two... Top two, uh... Like, checks slash shaky counters. Hard check shaky counter, if you want to call them a counter. Is that, like... Even if you have both of them, keep in mind the scenario that I talked about earlier. Like, you can still get beat very easily just by the sub-punching set with uh, team building. And then this is where I got the calcs. And, uh, the, yeah. Uh, ba basically, what this all says is that Mega Mawile has no counters. Um, Meg it has basically Mega Kangaskhan's sheer power. And also, uh, Mawile is a sw sweeper slash cleaner. It's not... It's not really prone to being worn down during the match, at least not as prone as the walls slash statusers that are supposed to check it. So, um, and also he caps his post with this. Personally, I can see no way in which Mawile Ma could be healthy for the OU tier. Has truly obscene power, complemented by strong priority, and can set up on almost every physical attacker in the tier if need be. 
barring a few really powerful, super effective ones. Don't get me wrong, I know that I'm not the best player, and I'm always open to better players telling me new ways to counter things. However, they come up if the best they can come up with is counter skarmory, that worries me. And that is really true, because counter skarmory is pretty much like the one check to this thing. Because, like, people can make the argument that Tank Zard X, like, Max Defense Charizard X is a true counter to this thing. But no, that's not a true counter. Two things. One, that that's a that flip, like, I can easily flip-flop that argument by saying, okay, no, um, that set proves how over-centralizing Mega Mawile is because people have been forced to take a purely offensive Pokemon and flip it into a defensive Pokemon and run like Will-O-Wisp and Roost in order to beat Mega Mawile, and it's not really a counter either. Like, uh, we can pull up a Calc right now, Damage Calc, and uh, do Mega Mawile versus um, Mega Charizard X. Uh, we'll go Max, um, Max Defense, Max HP, uh, whoops, tough claws, and then, uh, Impish, no, Impish, Impish, um, Play Rough is still a two-hit KO on that thing, and if, you, like, m most teams should have Stealth Rocks up, so, Play Rough is a guaranteed two-hit KO after Stealth Rocks easily, and if you get a sub up with Mega Mawile, there is really no way that you are going to combat this, th like, there, even Max Defense Charizard X can't really do a whole lot against it. Um, and even on, like, the Focus Punch set... No, not the Focus Blast set. Focus Blast would be terrible. Um, Focus Punch, look at this. 67%. 67% to Max HP, Max Defense Charizard X. That is a, that is easily a guarantee to it, KO, even without rocks. And if you get a sub up on... If you have a sub up and then you bring in Charizard X... You sub punch it once, it flare blitzes to break your sub, you sub punch again, and Mega Charizard X is gone. There really is no true counter to this thing, and it is kind of sad. But, you know. Uh, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below, because um, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what you guys have to say. But other than that, um, I urge you guys to leave a like if, if you guys did enjoy this video. It really does help show, show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Additionally, make sure uh, to leave a comment down below about the Mega Mall while shining out against what do you guys think of it. And uh, other than that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.